Hi guys, welcome back to TG Productions. You are our lovely patrons. I'm Tom. Yes, you are, yeah. So he's, he's laughing because I've said some terrible things off camera. He's just an awful human being. Yay! We're back for some videos, and this is a little bit belated, we apologise, but we're back to play yes. some Chase Buyer. Chase Buyer, yes. And we're going <laughs> to. played this in a while. We're going to use two war bands that have got no health. So I've got the Skellies, and you've got. I've got the, the blood, Corn. The Corn Blood, blood band. band, the weaker of the Corn ones. Yeah, the fast ones. Uh, the stabby ones, the front run and stab, and yes. I've got the. I've not used these before. No, and I've got the objective skelly, so it's two completely different play styles. You are going to be running into Smash Skulls. Yes. I am going to be the Skulls. Well, I'm going to be harvesting the Skulls. For There's no skulls blood for the Blood, 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 blood Guard, is there? No blood for the Blood Guard, it's all Skulls for the Skull Throne now. So, we'll go and have a look at how we've set up. Okay, this is how things look at the start of the battle. Uh, Paul, do you want to point out the objective, seeing as I've tactically put myself behind the camera and can't reach? Yep, so there's one there. That's number one. There's a two there. Yep, three, three on there. my side, four, four, and five. Five, and you've won the roll-off, roll so you will be going yeah. first. And obviously you've put your, your heavy hitters far forward. Bloody sake is eyeing up my yep, harvester, right. and you've got Garrick front and centre with, uh, is it Targor he's next to Targor, as well? Yeah, and so you've I've got, got Karsus. I've got Arnulf. Arnulf. Garrick. Karsus. No, Karsus, then Targor, and, and Targor, then Bloody Take. And then Bloody Take. Now I've got the, the Champion and the Prince at the front, at the back there, and the Harvester, so my named one's there. Warden's at the back, cowering like a coward, as he usually does. And then I've got That's my three stick. Petitioners as there, just to kind of grab the objectives when they can. So speaking of objectives, neither of us mulligan to start with. I have drawn these three here to begin. How about you, Paul? I'm unsure if they are on camera. Yeah, you're right. Ones there. So, we'll go to the first activation of the first turn, which will be the Bloodbound. So, first activation uh, in my super aggressive Bloodbound. Um, I feel like these are going to be a bogey team on the channel. I've not lost yet. So, but all your objectives in this one is murder things, and my poor skellies have got no health at all. Yeah, um, corn doesn't really care. Do they bleed though? The skellies, you know, when corn bleed. blood for the blood god, you can take some skulls. You can take plenty of skulls for skull throwing. So, what are you going to start with, mate? Uh, I'm going to start with bloody tea. Bloody tea straight yeah. away with charge by any chance. Yep, yeah. bingo. Straight into halves there. Oh, straight so, in. Two dice looking for hammers. Oh, you get a crit, crit. there. Oh dear, uh, I've got one dice on defence, looking for a dodge, but I'm going to need a crit. No, do not get it, that's three damage and an immediate kill. So you get a point of glory, sir. Thank you very much. Any ploys or upgrades you'd like to make use uh, of? Uh, I'm going to play Spoils of Battle, play an upgrade card that doesn't cost a glory point. No problem. Uh, I'm going to upgrade to upgrade... Garrick with Blood Slick, plus one defense, which makes him a bit of a beast. Um, and then I'm going to spend my one glory point, like glory point, and get that out to play Great Fortitude. And I'm going to play that on Bloody Sea. So that gives me an extra wound. It does Puts indeed. I'm going to make use of a ploy. No, oh, okay. And I am going to use... Oh, actually, you should have done your play before. It doesn't matter. I'm going to use Shard Gale. All fighters suffer one damage. Ooh. Everybody takes a point of damage. And then Stopped. we'll go back to the skellies. Okay, over to me then. And we've got the Prince of Dust who's up next. He is going to make a charge action. One, two. Ooh. With his lowly move to try and barrel into Blooded Sake. So I have got two attack dice. I am looking for hammers. I get one hammer, so one success there. And I'm looking for a dodge, which is unusual for me. Not crit. on camera, mate, so it doesn't count. Oh, that's no, right, you got a crit success, so nothing happens there. I'll take that. Uh, in terms of ploys, I don't think I've got anything. Oh, I have got one, actually. I'm going to play the Necromancer Commands. Play this after a friendly fighter's attack action fails, make the attack action again. Boom. So I'm just going to swing again. See if we can get any successes, so I need hammers. Two crits. Yeah, I'm not beating that that'll, this time. Uh, that'll do. No. no, so that is a single point of damage. Oh, after all that. But it does have knock back uh, one. So I get to knock you back one, and then knock you back one again. Okay, so that is bloodied sake down to two. 
Uh, I don't have any other cards that I would like to play. How about you? I have nothing. So we'll go back to the Bloodbound. So I'm going to activate Arnulf. Going to charge. Paul's realising how Isn't quick it? these models yeah, these are. are. They are lightning. Donkulously quick. Um, so two dice looking for swords with a crit effect. Nothing. nothing. I'll roll for the second one defense just to make sure it's not a draw. Uh, hey, my champion weathers the storm. The champion's up next. He is going to try and see if he can take Arnulf out of action. So he has got two dice on the attack. He is looking for a hammer. Oh, he does not. I just rolled that over. He does not get a hammer. That was two uh, double gangs. But I don't get anything. Oh, you know? So it is a draw. Um, I think... I don't know if I can push you back when I haven't been successful with my attack, so I'm going to err on the side of caution and not do it. Uh, <laughs> is there any card you'd like to play? Because I've got no ploys. Um, second wind. Second wind. Choose a friendly fighter that made a charge action this phase, and the next activation they might be activated that they had moved rather than charged. Would you like to choose Sake or Arnulf? I will choose Arnulf. Arnulf. So we flip that over to just a move. We'll go back to you. Never send Arnulf to do Garak's job. <laughs> uh, so he's going to charge, obviously. One, two, and just got nice and snuggled in there. Nice and snugged. Mm -hmm. So how many dice are you rolling? All of them. Uh, just two. I'm only on two health, though, so this could be painful. Uh, looking for hammers. You get a hammer. A hammer and an assist. Oh, yeah. I'm looking for... I'm going to need a crit then, aren't I? Yes. On dodge. Oh, he gets oh, the gets crit! The crit. Tanks it like a boss. Takes it. That sucks. Uh, any ploys? Uh, no. Uh, I don't think I have anything that I'd like to play either. Well done, champion. Ooh. Well done, sir. So the Sepulchral Warden is going to step up next, because I always do the right things with him, and I never just put him dangling in painful. <laughs> so he is going to use one of his abilities, and rather than bring someone back, he is going to make a move action with two fighters. He's just going to get this petitioner here to sit on this objective and this petitioner here to sit on this objective, which counts as a move action for them. But meat shields be... Well, they're not even meat shields, are they? Bone shields? Bone shields. Bone shields in place. Yeah, there'll be dust when I get my hands on them. Uh, no ploys for me. None for me. So after much deliberation, uh, I think I am going to draw an objective card. Only joking. <laughs> blood Charge. for the blood god. <laughs> Barreling Carsus in there, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to use my Brutal Chop, which is three dice, looking for swords. But you've also got double gang ups. Double gang ups, crits, and this does two damage. Ooh. Reroll that one. So a sword and a half moon. Yes. So that's two successes. Two successes indeed. I'm looking for a dodge, but I need a crit. Oh, I get my dodge, but your ganging up goes through. So that is two damage. Yep. Which will take out my champion. Poor champion. So it's a glory to you. That shard gale hurts everybody equally. Uh, so you get a point of glory. Anything you would like to do in terms of ploys, mate? Nope, nothing I can do. Nothing? Nope. Okay, back to me to finish off the round then. Okay, as the warden surveys the battlefield, he already does not like what he sees. He is going to choose to bring a friendly fighter who's out of action back on. He's going to bring the harvester who will come back on inspired right there in the hope of me winning the roll off and getting a punch on every single one of your blokies. <laughs> That's what I'm going for there, mate. Uh, so that will finish off the turn. I've got no ploys to play, have you, mate? I've got nothing. No. no. So we'll score some objectives, sort out our cards, and be back in a sec. Okay, this is how things look at the end of the first turn, Paul, and you've got very stuck in to my poor skellies. The harvesters came back defiantly trying to hold the line there. I don't really know any other way how to play corn. <laughs> just from my 40k I was just get stuck in. It's basically they're less armoured orcs for you, isn't it? That's the way this works. Yeah, basically. So the, These are like the fast corn, not the hitty, killy, everyone corn. The odd speeds. That's why I have managed to score an objective to bring me up a point. So I managed to score uh, objective three. I've um, held nothing. And I've put an upgrade of Great Fortitude on the Harvester just in case because I didn't want him to get absolutely destroyed. So he's up to four health 
Uh, but luckily, everyone, they're all off. Paul managed to roll all hammers on his dice, which was incredible. Um, so I went, uh, got the roll off there. My objectives, I did get rid of one. I think so. I've got these ones for this turn. How about you, mate? Um, I ditched all mine and saw them I wish I had, but I got these ones. So I'll be going first. I think my plan is to see if we can get a big swing with a harvester and try and get some damage done. But the downside is that's probably going to inspire everybody to go absolutely nuts. So I'll have a think and go to the first activation of the second turn. Right then, the Harvester is going to lead the way for me. He's going to see if he can do some hefty damage. So he's going to use his Whirling Scythe to target all adjacent enemies. Uh, he is inspired because he's came back. So he's going to start by targeting Arnulf. I've Arnulf. got three dice needing swords. So let's see how we go. Two crits and a sword. He's he's definitely he's, he's gone. Uh, so done. that is uh, two damage to you, mate. Um, I am going to play a ploy. Final blow. Ooh. Play this after an enemy fighter's attack action that takes uh, an adjacent friendly fighter out of action. The attack, the attacker, suffers one damage. So I take one damage there, which you I'll just take. remove my Great Fortitude card because it's basically the, okay. the same thing. I will take that. Oh, so I actually, I'll just put a marker on it. So that gets me a point of glory, but the the party continues. So he's gonna swing at Garrick now. So three dice, looking for swords again. Two swords and a crit. Two swords and a crit. A Garak. That's again. Yeah, Garak's uh, got plus one to his defense. Don't get two crits. You need here. two crits here. Oh, oh, a crit and a dodge. Unfortunately, I've got one more success there. Um, so that's two damage to Garak. Two damage. So that takes me to. Drops him down to one health, does it? One health. Yep. So there's some two. wound counters there, just off camera for you. I am going to push Garak back because I don't want him nearby. And then I've got my final attack where I am going to swing with my Whirling Scythe at Carsus. So again, three dice, we are looking for swords here. A crit. Crit, you're loving it. He's getting crits galore, he's well ready for the party. He's on the way. Is he a crit? Oh, oh shield. And that is two damage again. Okay. Which I believe so takes take Carsus out as well. It's another glory in the bag. to play. All the ploys are coming out. <laughs> Fueled by Slaughter. Play this after an attack action or ploy takes an enemy fighter out of action. That friendly fighter can make an attack action. There's no point playing that. You've got no friendly fighters to make an attack action because they're too far away from anybody. Oh, God, yeah. But I do have good oh, news. Oh, right, yeah, never mind. I do have good news for you, Paul. Oh. All of your people are now inspired Yeah. because that's, that's three off the board. So this yeah, is what so I was slightly is. worried about. So Carstus is gone. Oh, no, that is that one. But, uh, yeah, Garrick, Targor and oh, wow. Sake, more importantly, are now inspired. So I've got two unspent glory, and I have some ploys, which I have foolishly put underneath the camera, so apologies for the little bounce here. There we go. I'm not very good at this game. I am going to play a ploy to start with, mate. Okay. I'm gonna play Daylight Robbery. Roll an attack dice. If you roll a hammer or a crit, you can take one of your opponent's unspent glory points. You I'm gonna try and nick one of yours. Uh, so that is an attack dice. No, do not get away with my thievery. You. How rude off camera, how rude. Anything you'd like to play? Uh, yes, corn call, calls. And what's Roll that one extra dice, your first attack action of the next activation. Okay, that's a good one. Uh, it is. Back to me, I'm gonna put shard caller onto the uh, petitioner who's currently sat on objective number three just to be able to kind of grab any objectives that I'm after. And I think I will end the activation there, mate. Okay. Didn't like that, Tom. Didn't appreciate that. Nope. <laughs> Gonna send them bloody sake to you two oh, no. skelly dudes over there. Um, so, Skelly Bob and his mate. And My two petitioners, they're, they're gonna have a bad day here. So you can't charge both, who are you going for I'm to start with? I'm going for the one that's crawling off the ground. This one here. Wish he was crawling. <laughs> uh, so, Sake, two dice, looking for hammers. Gets a hammer. Gets a hammer. All right, I've got one dice, and I am looking for a dodge. Get it? Get it. It's a draw. Got it. Do you want to push me anywhere? Well, I can't really go anywhere, to be honest. I don't want to kill you, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Um, Any ploys? No, because I wanted to kill you. <laughs> 
the soul has been crushed. Yep. Uh, over to me then. It should be testament to how uncompetitive we are as players that Paul has just helped me work out the maths here for my attacks. <laughs> I didn't know who to go with. I was like, which is better, hammers on two or three swords? And he's like, you need to go for the hammers, mate. So thank you, I appreciate this. You're yeah. welcome, you're welcome. Uh, he's just coaching me to the win that I desperately need for my That's self-preservation. It, yeah. Moral victory is always So the, the Prince of Dust is going to make a charge. One, two, to that position there. Like the way he charged, like a okay. Oh, right. He's like, Rrr. yeah. Uh, so like got... he's bounced off that wall there. Uh, <laughs> we are, we have got terrain coming on the way, so that'll be awesome because I love the boards and shades, but I think they'll look awesome with a little bit three D. So he's got two dice, looking for hammers. Gets a crit. Garrett's got two dice on his defense though, because you upgraded him. I did. Oh, gets he gets a crit. A crit on the oh. GTF noob. Oh, it is a draw, and I have been successful in my attack action, so I am going to knock you back, and I've got knocked back one, so I'm going to knock you back two spaces out of my face, essentially. Uh, face. But I would have liked to have killed you there. You are very rude to have not done so. Yeah, I do apologize. Um, I am going to just, I think, chill for the moment. Yeah, I've not got any ploys to play. How about you, mate? Um, hmm. No, I'm good. So that's my second activation done. I am going to play it easy with my second activation and draw a power card. Tactical move. Yeah. Don't know what it does. What you missed off camera there is then Paul did read the card and just shouted for the heavens. Is it a little bit good? It's okay. Like is it, it's, right? it's, it helps with another card I've got in my hand, but the problem is... You need to combo up, do you? No, no I can only play one of them. Oh, um, um, difficult choices. Yeah, but it's, it, I can play both of them, but it's the order in which you play them. Now, I might make a mistake here. I'm not going to try and finish off Garrick yet, which I probably should do with the Harvester with the stats that he's got. But Sake is near my Warden. If I've learned anything, it's... Don't do that. You need to look after the Warden. So, the Warden's going to go, and he's going to use his ability to bring back the champion to this starting position here just to set him up, and Paul is very giddy and happy about that. I'm also going to play a ploy. This is where, not a ploy, an upgrade, so I realize I have done things the wrong way around, but we'll deal with it. And I'm gonna put the shadowed key on the petitioner that is on objective three, which basically means if he's holding objective two by the third end phase, I get an additional two glory points. I'm going to you, mate. I'm gonna activate Garrick. Should have killed him. <laughs> I'm gonna take a risk here. You're gonna charge, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna do two things. Okay. I'm gonna charge. Who are you gonna charge into? I'm gonna charge in to your. My prince is on two health. Yeah. My harvester is on three health. Three. Yes. I'm going to charge in to your prince. Okay. Oh, okay, we're in between the two. Yeah. Go for it. Um, two dice. Using hammers. Get a crit and a hammer. hammer. Oh, so that. I'm going to need a crit, but I don't think there's anything I can do here. Oh, nothing. So that is a kill and a point of glory for you. Is it dead, dude? Prince is sadly that. dead. Okay. Um, I am going to play. A ploy. Go ahead. Which is fueled by slaughter. Which means you get to attack again. Yes, a friendly fighter can make a, a an attack action. I'm going to attack again with Garrick into the harvester. harvester. Oh dear. The two dice. Two looking dice. for hammers. I'm looking for hammers or crits. Yeah. You get a crit. crit there. So again, one dice on my defense. Get nothing. That is three points of damage, which will take out my harvester as well. Oh, poor and harvester. Then I am going. So that gets you a point of glory. So you have to get about that. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay, you don't hate this. I'm going to play Boon of Corn. Do you want to read the card? Play this after a friendly fighter's attack action that takes an enemy fighter out of action remove all wound tokens from one friendly fighter. Oh, okay. Go on. <laughs> so that puts Garrick back on full health. 
Yeah. Okay, then that is days. very nasty. Any other ploys? Eh, uh, no. Nope. But Stars align. <laughs> that was awesome, though. I can't believe it. Um, okay. He's back in the game. I'm, I'm happy with that. Right, my inspired champion is going to finish off the round for me. Sake is on two health. Yep. So, uh, I'm going to charge just to that position there. Uh, I'm rolling three dice, looking for hammers. I've got cleave, but it doesn't really affect your bloodbound. And I've got two people ganging up, so... I get a hammer and a gang can go up. Dodge or a crit? Nothing. Nothing. So that takes Sake out, which will gain me a glory. And you say you had two health left? I did. I also get to play Precise Use of Force. Score this immediately if a friendly fighter makes a successful attack action that deals exactly enough damage to take the target enemy out of action. So that'll put me onto five glory. And I think. After that, I've got upgrades that I could play, but I'm not really sure what to go with. So I think, for now, I'm just going to hold off and we'll go to Paul's last activation of this second turn. Just Targo. Right, so do as call and do. Targo is going to get stuck in. How much health has your champion got? My champions came back on three health. Three health, okay. Maybe I'm not going to charge your champion. <laughs> um, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to charge that guy there. It's the petitioner. petitioner. You have one health. He has one health, okay. Um, I'm just going to adjust the camera there because I should really check this type of stuff before uh, <laughs> before we start recording. Um, TG Productions. TG Professional. Productions. Anyway, how many dice are you on? The consummate. Um, Three dice looking for swords or crits. <sighs> two crits, I'll take it. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, yeah he's, he's dead. Uh, two cool. damage, that gets you a glory. It does, and I am going to play. The crits have reigned yeah. in this one. I'm going to play Skulls for the Skull Throne. Play this after a friendly fighter's attack action takes an enemy fighter out of action. Draw up to two. Power cards. Oh. My so whole draw up to two power cards. I haven't really got anything to play at the moment, I don't think. Okay, so an awful lot of stuff just happened at the end of that second turn. There was a hell of a lot of bloodshed as well, Paul, wasn't there? Oh, yes. So you scored some objectives. What have you scored? I scored Ploy Master and It Begins. I played three ploys in the preceding action phase and. Uh, one, one fighter from each warband was out of action. So that's put you up to seven, seven glory, we believe. Yes. And you spent that as an upgrade on Targor, is it? Targor and Garrick. And what have you given them? Uh, so Targor has great strength, so plus one to his attack damage. And Garrick now has a frenzy. To use an extra dice on the attack, isn't it? Extra dice on the charge, yeah. So I have not scored any objectives, but I have used my shard caller to bring objective number two onto the petitioner just at the back there. I've drawn new objectives, which look like that there. How about you, mate? Okay, I have scored two, and ditch man, I've got those. Oh, well, the super fleeting glance. Uh, <laughs> and I've won the roll off, so I'll be going first as we go into this third turn. Okay, we're going to start things off with the champion inspired. He's going to turn to this guy next to him and uh, just have a massive swing with his sword. So he has got three dice looking for hammers because he is so inspired. A crit and a hammer into Targor. Looking for a crit? No. no. That is two points of damage, which takes him out. Oh, sadly. Which gains me a glory, which puts me up to six. Uh, I am going to play a ploy. Okay. And I think what I'm going to use is Restless Dead. Okay. And what Restless Dead does is it allows me to place a friendly fighter that was taken out of action in a starting hex in my territory. And I think I'm going to bring back my Prince of Dust and he is going to appear just there. You. I'm going to play Duel of Wits, which, when an opponent plays a ploy, draw two power cards. Ooh. I am um, very limited on what is now uh, 
now available to me. I am to... going to uh, play an upgrade, spend okay. one of my glory, and I am going to put the Dazzling Key on my recently brought back Prince of Dust, which is, if I hold objective four in the third end phase, I can get two glory points for that. Wonderful. I am also going to play an upgrade by spending one of my glory points, and I am going to... Getting kitted out for this last turn. Grizzly Trophy on Garrick. Which is a plus one extra glory when you kill someone, isn't it? It is indeed. Oh dear, oh me. So I'm also going to play another upgrade. Okay. <laughs> You've not got any more. The full but, scroll of uh, upgrades is yeah. going to be out now. Uh, He's reading it. He's reading it. There's so many bloody things. Okay, I'm going to play Blessed Armor on him. And that allows you to do what? Uh, when you roll a crit for this fighter, when they are targeted by an attack action, remove one wound token from them before any damage is dealt. Oh, that's I'm not bad. Crit with Garrick. Anything else? Uh, I think I'm tapped for the turn. Yeah, I'm going to give him an awakened weapon as well. Oh my god. <laughs> Apologies to me editing this, because if your cards pop it up everywhere, it's going to be like uh, a really bad card trick. Yep. Awakened weapon, which is just a horrendous weapon. Yep. And then I'm going to play sidestep as well. Okay. Deploy. Which means you dodge him forward. Interesting. Over to you. So poor Garrick. He's all alone. Oh, the skeleton he is Korn's champion, though, to be he fair. All of the weaker ones have in died. In this game, he is Korn's champion. <laughs> um, so I am actually going to ditch an objective and draw another objective. Show it to the camera, show it to the people. Bad. And that's going to end this turn. Over to me for my second uh, activation then, and we're going to have to make Garak make a choice here. So as I said, I've given the Prince the Dazzling Key, which means he needs Objective 4, but it's a long way away. So what he is going to do is he's simply going to move, one, two, three, just to that position there. However, I am then going to put an upgrade on him, and I'm going to give him Great Strength, which gives him plus one damage to his attack actions with a range of one or two. I'm going to play the ploy ready for action. Play this after you upgrade a fighter in an action phase. They can make a move or an attack action. So he is going to move again. One, two, three. And he's going to stand on objective four, which is probably going to basically mean Garrick needs to choose to either go and gank him and the points that go with him or go after the warden. So that is my second activation. Any ploys for you, mate? No. So that is a difficult choice. Um, Garrick's choice. It's a very different film to Sophie's choice. Garrick's choice, kill everything. I am going to ditch an objective and draw another objective. No ploys from me, my dear. None from me either. The Warden is up for next for me, and he is inspired, I forgot to note that. Um, he is going to bring someone back, he's going to bring it all back to you, Paul. Can't get through a Shade Spire without a 90s music reference. <laughs> uh, so I am going to bring back the Harvester, and the Harvester is going to go there. So he comes back with his Great Fortitude, which is lovely. Not four wounds. Four wounds. Uh, I have no ploys which I wish to play. I am just basically praying that some fluke goes off here. So we'll go back to you. Garrick. It's now been Paul's turn to do the maths off camera. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think I can win this one. <gasps> Is, could, think, it be? Tom, could it be? I think Tom might have a natural victory with the... With the skellies. With the key, yeah. The worst, the worst team. It was all bigging it up before the match, wasn't it? Like, yeah. I lost the game on camera. So well, he's also overwriting the fact that I did win one between the Stormcast and the Oryx, but you know, that's been retconned apparently in our history. Did you? Yeah, you won it 2-1 the series though, to be fair. Oh yeah, there we go, so you have won a game. Um, right, Garrick, I've got to get off all these cool, janky stuff I've given to him, haven't I? So, two dice, up to three. I think you can re-roll one of them. I can re-roll one. That was a charge action. And I get one additional glory point if I kill you. Okay. So you're looking for hammers? Looking for hammers and crits. A hammer. A hammer. I will re-roll one. A, a hammer. hammer. Uh, this is against After my... all that bigging it up, 
This is against my prince, isn't it? Prince, yeah. Uh, he's looking for a dodge, though. Doesn't get it. Doesn't get How it. much damage is that doing to me? Three damage. That is exactly his health. That takes me out, and you get two glory for that, I'll mate. Take that, yeah. Uh, which puts you up to what? Nine. Nine total. Oh my Go poor prince! prince. All that, all that potential glory of him sat on that objective. It's run for a second. It's point trap doesn't work. It's the end of my turn. Do you get around to play? Uh, no, I'm just going to go to my last one. So my last activation of the game, because Paul always has denial, because that just seems to be his Yu-Gi-Oh trap card that he pulls out at every possible moment, the Warden is going to use his ability... What was it? Mirror move or something? Yeah, <laughs> Mirror Force! Mirror Force, that's the one. Uh, he's going to use his ability to move two fighters, so I'm just going to move this petitioner onto objective one, and I'm just going to tell the Harvester <laughs> to go one, two three and just stand on that objective stay away from the big angry man live in peace uh, no ploys for me I don't think mate so we'll go to your last activation so sadly there's absolutely nothing I can do <laughs> um, the tone of his voice has changed I do, I do have denial as uh, you guys all know and <laughs> you <laughs> suck <laughs> you, <laughs> you keep that you he hasn't even got around the mirror for you're you. not even wearing <laughs> sleeves how do you keep that on your <laughs> Um I just Use it to draw me the last power card or a power card, and it's berserk charge. It's useless. Yeah, so we'll go to. You're still in the lead, so I need to score some points here. So we'll go to the <laughs> third <laughs> end phase. And here we are at the end of the third turn, and points being scored then, Paul. So you've ended up with nine, nine VP. I've managed to sneak some. So my petitioner was on objective two, gain two for having the key. He also got to turn in Defender, because he's been there for two rounds. Uh, I managed to get Hold Objective 1, and I managed to get Tactical Supremacy 1 and 2 for having 1 and 2, so we believe that puts me on 12 points! The Skellies! And Paul at the end was like, did you have Objective 4? Was that guy there for a reason? I was like, nope. So could be in. I know, beautiful. So that is uh, a glorious win for the Skellies. That is the... I said they were going back in the box. I think they can now go back in the box. They can officially rest in peace until we get the, the ghosts for the next season. Oh, that was a, that was a fun game. So we'll go to the post-battle and see in a sec. Hey, who would have thought Skellies pull a win? They do. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I'll take that graciously, unlike some people. And oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> who would have thought? Objectives, though. Going other end of the battlefield. Game yeah, that choice. is. Back it. So, the objectives that I drew at the very start were very good. You had the awesome second couldn't, turn. Couldn't be achieved. Yeah, the second turn kind of swung it with that little Garen combo. Bobby Bobby. Yeah. Why the second turn was Play like whack-a-mole. The Harvester did the same. The no, start of the second turn no, where he just no, cleaned You know what really done me? The uh, shard fall. The at the start. Turn, at I the mean, activation. when I drew that, I was like, it's going to hurt my warden, but I need to just hurt everyone. Because otherwise, like we said in previous ones, I'm just going to be batting against armor. Yeah, it's not you just... Good. Just taking that extra little hit off made everyone killable. Just a nightmare. Why do you fully heal Garrick halfway through? Yeah. I tried to think the amount of deaths. So we need a tally count. I'm not going to edit one in, but there needs to be a tally count of how many fatalities there were. I think there's a few. So I think we've got about five, I'd say. Yeah, maybe six. Maybe six. But the, the fact that you had a real stabby crew versus a real objective crew yeah. played out really nicely, actually. There wasn't too much. We were both in it, and towards that last turn, it was just Garrick being on his own. Yeah. He was told up to the nines. The thing is, like, it oh. benefit, the, the objective game benefited you towards the end because I would I got rid of... My first hand of objectives was three, two glory cards. Yeah. So and not, always said not being able, able to have. achieve... But after the first turn, it was going to be difficult to achieve more. Yeah. I can't remember why, but it was like, no, I need to get rid of these and see what else is there. Says the guy who always pulls denial at the end anyway. I pull denial at the end, as or... always, and Tom. Tom saw through. I see it now, that's it. Yeah. Um, but I think the the next step now, you were talking, you were looking at my skeletons, thinking about how they were coming back, and you actually are really looking at Scritch and the Skaven yeah. now, aren't you? Yeah. Because you like that mechanic. Yeah, I, what I like about it is it, it makes it a fresh turn. It's not. Yeah. It's not, right, here's the plan, here's what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and then you can bring somebody back that throws a spanner in your You've got that So you, in the last turn, gave me a choice. Go for the har go for the champion who's all the way over there, or go for the harvester who's going to get yeah, halfway exactly. across the board. So I don't think, if they got three points, it would have been a draw from denial. Yeah. Um, 
And what else I had in my hand was the one where you score six objectives. Uh, so really if you would have been able to rattle a few. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't have got that away if I was there to ditch that one because I'd have only scored two and then eh, sorry, three at that point and then I only got the other two and you can't score that as the sixth. So that was a bit of a loss. That was it was me over the edge. It was great that we both got to the end and we were both racing for glory still. Yeah, well not scoring objectives in the first turn. That the uh, first phase that started. Yeah. I'm going to be looking at the fast riders next, so I'm going to go from like I said, go for away from all the weaklings, <laughs> back to some decent. Let's armor. go to the elite. But they're the distance armor. They're going to be very different from the normal stormcaster. So interesting to see how they play against Skaven. So you need to paint Skaven. I need yeah. to paint the fast riders. And so you get three and I get five. Yeah, but they're bigger. I mean, I literally spray them gold and wash them and I'm done. But still, uh, there's that parrot thing on his shoulder that I'm going to paint. Uh, but anyway, if you enjoyed this, let us know. As always, <laughs> thank you so much for support. Our lovely Patreon supporters, it means the world to us and it keeps the lights on, so thank you. Uh, thank you very much, guys. Hopefully we'll see you soon. Yes. Hi guys, thank you very much for watching our video. If you've enjoyed this content, feel free to check out some more over there or even consider supporting our channel through merchandise and Patreon in the description below. As always, hit like, hit subscribe, join us on our Facebook group and we'll see you in the next one.